Now we can also understand that the reason water pressure increases with depth. And let's look at this by drawing a little picture. Here's the surface of the water. Say you're diving in the ocean. And so you dive down and so here you are underneath the water. And you're swimming along. There is literally water up above you. And we can picture the water that is directly over you. All of this water and the weight of that water pressing down pushes down on you. And that's what causes the pressure, the weight of the water above you. But water, remember, is a fluid. It's a liquid so it can flow. So what happens is this water is flowing all around you and exerting pressure from all sides. So the forces are really just squeezing you from all sides. And the tissues in your body react by exerting an equal and opposite force outward. So you're not crushed. This is different from having, say, a container of water. Imagine a container that held that much water. So we'll draw it. So here's this container. If that were sitting on top of you, you would be crushed by that. That would be tons and tons of water. And that's because in this case, it's just squashing straight down. And you would be squeezed between that and the floor, and you would be squished flat. The fluid, on the other hand, exerts forces in all directions. So you're not crushed, you're not flattened. You're just squeezed from all directions. Uh, but you can, you can feel it, like we talked about earlier, on your eardrums. But the rest of your body uh, exerts an equal and opposite force outward. So you're not crushed, you're, you're not harmed. So you should understand that it's the weight of the water above you that causes the pressure. And that's why the deeper you go, the more pressure there is because there's more water above you. Now the pressure depends only on the depth. It doesn't depend on the size of the container. You could have a container like this. And we'll put some water in it. And say you are right here. And say this is three feet under the surface of the water. There's a certain amount of water above you. And that determines the pressure. You could also have a really big container like this. And have it full of water. And if you were the same depth, you would experience the same pressure. The size of the container doesn't matter. It's only the depth, how deep you are. This distance right here, the depth. That is the one thing that, de that determines the pressure. It's also independent of the shape of the container. You might have a container shaped like this. And it's full of water. You might have a container shaped like this. and have that full of water, or it could be some extremely odd shape, something like this. And it's full of water. And imagine you're down here at the bottom of this container, or down here at the bottom of this one, or down here at the bottom of this one. The shape of the container doesn't matter. It's this depth, how far you are below the surface, that determines the pressure. The greater the pressure, the greater the depth. And it depends only on the depth, not on the size and shape of the container.